Hi, this is Sherry. I'm coming at you from the Eagle's Nest, and we are up, up above, flying above the lake. It's uh, parties out there on the lake today, and I thought this would be, um, I don't know, I like it up here. It's kind of peaceful. Lily and I are sitting up here, and I have a, quite a long reading, and I'm asking Spirit that we not be disconnected. So, what I wanted to speak to you about is I'm not choosing a, an animal totem, and an animal totem hasn't come yet to me today to be chosen because I want to speak about what's going on at Standing Rock in North Dakota. I am not somebody who's politically involved. I don't watch the news. I don't read the newspaper. I don't get involved in, in, in any political um, situations. But I received, two weeks ago I received a, an email, a personal email in my inbox, um, and it was from a woman who is at Standing Rock. On the, she is at the reservation. And it was a personal email and she asked me to forward it. Um, and so I was, I watched it and I, like I said, I don't normally get involved in this kind of thing. I, I prefer to keep my energy vibration high and positive and not get involved in any negative energy. But I watched it and it affected me deeply. And um, right as I was, I, I forwarded it to, to several people. You may have been one of the persons that I forwarded it to. Um, it was asked to be forwarded privately because the Facebook keeps pulling it down, the news wasn't having, it's not being publicized. Um, it, it's, it's a dirty deal the way it's being handled. Um, and I don't profess to know all of the ins and outs of everything, um, and I'm not going to get involved in that. Um, but what I, it did pull something up in me. Um, I, it, it whipped up the energy inside of me, anger. And it was interesting because my old roommate, Sonia, she, uh, she emailed me right after I had, um, or she texted me right after I had emailed it, probably to her. And she said, how are you feeling right now? And I said, angry. And she said, me too. And we were so moved that, that I was... She says, Let's, she says, I think we have a trip coming on. And I had been hearing that I was going on a trip too. And, and I said, where are you thinking, North Dakota? And she said, yeah. And I said, I agree. So I literally was like, we were going to get a truck together. We were going to go there. I was just like all fired up. And I thought, you know, I'm going to stand there with these peaceful protesters. This isn't right the way they're being treated. Um, they're being, uh, the police are using military uh, forces against unarmed people that are peacefully protesting, which is wrong. And I just was like so fired up. And... I spoke to my dad and he said, Sherry, what are two white women, single women, has nothing to do with being white, but for some reason he threw that in there. Maybe it is, maybe I'll think of that in a minute. Um, single women gonna do, what are you gonna do to stop anything? What is, what is you being there gonna make a difference? Really, you know? And he says, and he says, what's interesting to me is how much money and gas you would spend to go to drive all the way out to North Dakota and here you're protesting a, a gas pipeline. And so I, <laughs> I sat back for a second and, I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I had just gotten from Spirit right before that. He's heed wise counsel, so I'm assuming that my father's counsel was the was the counsel that I was supposed to heed. I want to put this down and see if this will work. It would be really nice if I could just do this, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it work really cool if this just worked for me? Oh, come on, help me out here, guys. So um, anyway, I thought about it and I went into meditation. That's what I did. Oh. That stays. Um, I went into a meditation and I asked myself, you know, what, what, what truly is the best thing for you to do? Why are you doing this, Sherry? What, why, why are you feeling so wound up? And and um, you know, the 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 the, 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 the feelings of anger were, were were not right, right? And so I thought to myself, what is it that I? What is the best thing that I could do to help these people and help this situation? And for me, my vibration. I need to be in a place of high vibration. I need to keep my vibration high and positive. Oh, we've got a totem. It's right over our heads. It's the yellow warbler. Okay. It literally just came and swirled over my head. And we do have two uh, vultures. And, and if, if they come down close, I'm going to I'm gonna have to pull this around. But anyway, I felt that the best voice that I had was this. I have a voice. I have my YouTube channel. I've got, uh, you know, these videos that go out. And the, the most help that I could give was to, to use this voice here. And I thought, what I need to do is lift my vibration, get it as high as I possibly can get it, and send a vibration of healing, loving energy towards the people, towards the entire situation. That, to me, would be the, the most power, that's the most powerful thing that I can do. And so I chose to stay and do that. And I posted this morning, you might have seen on my page, um, a couple of uh, different videos and my friend Troy and his girlfriend in Wisconsin, they've left yesterday, they're gonna go. Um, Troy is ex-military himself 
um, from Desert Storm and they are going to go because a lot of the veterans are going to stand in protest, peaceful protesting. And I thought about that a lot today and I'm very proud of Troy. Um, many of the veterans have post-traumatic stress and going to back into like a battle zone like that could, could bring that kind of stuff up. And so it's like facing your own demons, but they're going, instead of going to war, they're going into a, um, well, they are going into a, a, a war type of a zone, but they're going and standing in peace. I love that. It's like they the spirit has taken that energy and, and twisted it, and all of the veterans are going in a peaceful protest, and they're going to stand. And so I'm very proud of Troy, and I'm very proud of Kayla for going there. And for all, and, and I put the post out, and so many people, you know, want to go. I want to go. I want to stand. I want to be there with them, and I want to be a show of solidarity. And and I said, you know, you can. You can go every day. I would. I've been with them all morning since probably four, and I, actually I was dreaming it all night, so I was astral traveling, and I was there. Check out the light that's going through here, isn't that, I was gonna say, isn't that badass? I shouldn't, I probably should stop saying that word, but I'm gonna turn us this way, because I think the sun is gonna start getting us in a minute. Um, there goes the yellow warbler again. Um, the yellow warbler basically says to sing out, sing out, speak your truth, sing out and, and say what it is that's on your heart, and, and, and don't let anybody stop you from doing so. Um, so anyway, what I, I've had a lot of people saying, oh, I want to go, I want to go. And, and, and I said, you can go, you know, raise your vibration, Ra use the power that you have, the power of our intention, our vibration, our vibra our, our, our loving healing energy is it, love is more powerful than anything. Love heals fear. Love, love, love will dissolve anger. Love will um, rid, rid jealousy. L love can get rid of anything and everything. So use the power that you have. And I got into this deep meditative state this morning and I was like, welling up asking the father to just fill me with this loving vibration this most powerful loving vibration that I could possibly get so that I could send it and I see my friends that are on their way there around wrapped around in this healing loving protective vibrational energy as well as the people that are standing so much so that the vibrational force that loving force will push back the police and bring them to their senses and 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 I'm, I'm good. I was going to say it should shame them. It should shame them. They should, they should see that, that when love comes at, and peace comes at you, they will win. Peace and love, love will win. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I wanted to say that this is my, my platform and I'm going to, I'm going to use it. And that, that's how I chose to use it. So, um, what else? Um, today we've got some interesting messages. Um, I've got a lot of messages and I and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of them um, for you guys but uh, how interesting I heard specifically the messages that I was supposed to use um, and the first thing I heard was 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 the goddess the goddesses the goddess energy because the goddess energy is what's at, it's at work right now in 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 the world and in, in what's going on and it's it's interesting because they all kind of come together um, what the first the first um, message that we got was Guinevere, and it's basically speaking about true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So we see Guinevere here. True love. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you guys see that? I, I've got to do this properly, don't I? So basically, what they're saying is what you've been calling for. It's a divine love that's coming. They talk to you about manifesting this. This, this is something that is, that is coming towards you. This is emerging with another human being, but it also could be emerging a partnership with spirit. Um, but truly, because of the messages that I'm shown in front of me besides this one, I believe that this is the union. There's a lot of uh, twin souls that are coming back together right now. So they're talking about a union with one. Your soulmate relationship has arrived or it soon will arrive. So those who are, I, I was wa watching a, a twin flame um, video the other day that somebody else put out and I thought it was fantastic because it was so dead on. And she was talking about the waves. There's the first wave, the second wave, and the third wave. The first wave of the twin flames have already come together. The second wave is just right there. And the third wave, you've got a lot more work to do so you're gonna be coming around the next. But this is speaking to me about the second wave of the ones that are coming. Um, that's one specific message. The next message would be that this is prompting a renewal or a, um, what is the word? Um, a renewed passion in the romance or the relationship that you already have, your existing relationship. What must you do to to it, it, you to reignite the love in your life? Playfulness, um, 
tenderness, thoughtfulness. Um, think of your partner as, as you did when you first met them. What do you need to do to bring love back into your, and, and manifest love into your relationship? Also, if you're trying to bring a love into your life, a, a soulmate or a relationship into your life, you need to love yourself. Love brings love. If you want love, give love. And then you will draw to you what you send out. So that's the first message, okay? So the next message we have um, is, is from the Dragon Fae. And it's interesting because I, I picked up the, the deck and the I picked up the deck and then I and I was like shuffling the cards. I was trying to figure out which ones I was supposed to put out there. And I my my hand grabbed two cards. And I, I looked at the first one and it was interesting to me because it's um my, my girlfriend Kimberly and I have been speaking a lot about crystals lately and the, the healing power of crystals. And of course, I've been speaking to you guys about the healing power of crystals. I talked to you about the lapis and the moonstone, um, the goddess energy from the moonstone. But I talked to you guys about the, um, the healing powers of pyrite. And I've been holding on to my pyrite crystal um, for me and my twin soul. Um, the, I just, the, the power of crystals is, is just immense. So the first message that we got is called Namu. And she's literally saying, seek the power of crystals. There are there is such a commitment um, from the earth to, to give you energy healing energy and help from crystals and it's time basically to seek out what crystal what crystal draws you they want you to go and look they want you to wear jewelry that has specific crystals that will help you for certain, for whatever issues that you're going through ask spirit what or ask somebody um, look it up if there's certain things that you're having issues with what crystals would work best for you um, you may be you may be just drawn to a particular crystal at a certain time and, and go and, and research it and find out why is it? Why is it that I was drawn to this crystal? Like the other day when I looked at my dish of all my crystals and my eye immediately went to the pyrite and I knew it was for me and I knew it was for my twin and sure enough, man, that night in my dreams, from what I saw, because I travel with him in my dreams, it was very healing, it was very helpful, it was dead on for what we needed. So. They're, they're wanting to make sure that, the, that when you do get your crystals, cleanse them, clear them. Somebody asked me yesterday, how do I cleanse my crystals? When you get warm water and a little bit of salt, sea salt, very gently just kind of rinse it, set it out in the sun, clear and charge your crystals. That's how you would do it. Um, my girlfriend Kimberly bought some crystals yesterday and remember we were talking about getting a talisman and wear it as a, as a sense of, uh, a force of protection. So that's another thing that they're asking you to do. Now, as far as... Um, this, 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 how do you say her? Nimu, Nimu, look at her. She's got a dragon on her shoulder. She's holding the color that she's holding a gold bowl and inside the bowl is a green, giant green crystal. I don't know what crystal that is, but I know that green represents your heart chakra and it also represents the color of healing. So what she's saying is she's cleansing the crystals for you and she's preparing you for the arrival of Merlin and Arthur. I find that very interesting. She says that you don't need to fear for your survival or when you change. It's not necessary to die to be reborn. That's why we saw the, the vultures flying above. Well, I saw the vultures flying above, which is talking about death, transformation, and rebirth. She's saying you don't need to worry about that. Um, be a commitment to who you are. This is a time when you are supposed to free yourself from what other people are saying to you. You're supposed to... Um, Investigate less less conventional ways of, of making a living, perhaps. Um, not, not the ways that maybe other people feel that you should be making a living. It's specifically talking about that. Um, it's, it's about freeing yourself, um, expressing truly who you are. That's why the, the yellow warbler flew above us, about speaking your truth, singing out, about singing out for who you are. She's asking you to release yourself from the chains that bind you. From others, you're supposed to walk. Walk free. Freely do what it is that your soul and your higher self is asking you to do, not necessarily what everybody else is asking for you to do. You and only you are capable of holding, uh, of releasing yourself from what it is that's holding you back. So that's the, me the first message that came out, and that was the, the one that was on top. And the next one that came out, um, which is amazingly wonderful since we already got Guinevere, which is talking about the true love coming, is the lovers. And you see these lovers, the lovers that can love each other. So these beings have been through many, many trials together. They are true soulmates, right? It doesn't have to be a twin soul connection, but these are soulmates, true soulmates. And their, their relationship, it, it, it comes from what they feed it. So it speaks, as we spoke about in the Guinevere, what must you do? It speaks of the, necess the necessity of you 
cultivating this relationship. So they're reminding you, love each other. If you neglect your lover, you're neglecting your own happiness. So what must you do? Again, here we got confirmation of this. They're asking you to recognize that when you love yourself and you truly care for your own self, um, in spiritual, emotional, physical ways, if you really are loving and caring for yourself, you will know how to love and care for the one in your life. Um, when you do cultivate this kind of love, you have to understand that it will come to you. It's not, if it's not here, it's not time yet. You've got work to do. Continue to work on yourself. They're asking you to keep, continue to work on yourself and reassured that your relationship will come to you. So, at this time, they're also saying that, that your relationship, how funny, I'm getting a total heat flush. That's interesting. So there's fire. There's a fire burning. That's interesting. And it's just here. That's interesting to me. Um, a fire burning. And they're saying that your relationship, your relationship needs tending. So what is it you must do? There's something that's lacking in this. Look at this couple. This is what you want to do. You need to love as you wish to be loved. And you can't have love existing when there's mistrust and anxiety between the two of you. So what issues do you need to look at that's causing this, this, this blockage between you? You know, maybe you're thinking, I'm never going to have this. It's never going to happen. It's never going to be what I want it to be. And Spirit's basically saying, you can have this. You are worthy of this. You need to trust that this is coming to you and that you are able to manifest this into your life. You are a beloved being and this is coming. So if this is something that you are supposed to do um, to cultivate whatever's going on in your life, um, whatever you need to do to make yourself feel loved. Know also that physicality and sexuality is very important in a relationship. It's sacred, sensual bliss. And if this is lacking in your relationship, you're not going to have it. You're not going to have the full package. You must express yourself physically, sexually, intimately, spiritually with your lover in order to have this true love with you. And then the bliss that spirit has promised will come to you. So there's that. I thought that was pretty cool, those ones going together. And then the next message, I love that this isn't running out because I'm not touching it. <laughs> you should see how this is set up. It's in, it's in a pot with a, a candle behind it and then a, a, one of my rocks from Sedona propping it up. I think it's hysterical. Okay, so you know how we always see the crane? And, and um, when I'm down on the lake, we see the blue, the big, the big white cranes and, and the, um, uh, they've got the, um, I, I've spoken to you about how, um, Cranes, they speak about longevity. They speak about, um, uh, they actually are a symbol of soulmates as well because uh, they are they mate for life and they are very protective. They have these long um, piercing beaks that, that, that they use to drive away the enemy and they protect one another. Now this is interesting to me because this is talking about, here we have the crane and it talks about a secret and noble guardianship. And what they're saying is, like I said, they announce their presence when they come. I hear them going across a lake and they're very, when people know when they're, when they, they know when they're on their way because they, they let themselves be heard. And like I said, they will drive off intruders with, with their, look at those beaks that they have. They will drive off the intruders. Anyone that comes at them as a threat, they will rush forward and they'll nip at them. You know, they're at first, they're, they're not going to fight at first, but they want to let you know that they mean business and they're very protective of their loved ones and their family. So what they're saying at this time, Trust that there is some hidden protection around you. There's that message. Um, it also may be that you need to be the protector of someone.